In this video, we're going to focus on problems that relate to inelastic collisions. In an inelastic collision, what you need to know is that momentum is conserved, but kinetic energy is not conserved. So anytime you have two objects that stick together, typically it's usually an inelastic collision. Like this problem. So we have a block moving east at 15 meters per second, and it collides with a 5 kilogram block at rest. The two blocks stick together, what is the final speed of the two blocks? So now we have objects sticking together, it's an inelastic collision. But for all types of collisions, momentum is going to be conserved. If it's an inelastic or elastic collision, doesn't matter. So for any collision, we could use this equation. The total momentum before is equal to the momentum after the collision. Now let's draw a picture. So we have a 10 kilogram block moving east. And this block is going to strike another block. This one's going to be a 5 kilogram block. And it's currently at rest. Now after the two collide, these two blocks will be sticking together. Our goal is to calculate the final speed of these two blocks. Because they stick together, they're going to move together at the same final speed. So now let's focus on the equation. Before the collision, we have two blocks. Let's call the 10 kilogram block block 1. So it has a momentum of m1 times v1. Momentum is mass times velocity. And then we need to add the momentum of block 2. So that's the total momentum before the collision, and that should equal the total momentum after the collision. Now the mass is not going to change, but the speed is going to change. So V1 prime represents the final speed of block 1, which is the 10 kilogram mass. And V2 final, or V2 prime, that's the final speed of block 2. Now because these two stick together, V1 prime and V2 prime, they're the same. So we could just call it V or just V final. So we could use the same symbol to represent those two velocities because they're identical. So on the right side, what I'm going to do is factor out V final. So this is the equation that you should use whenever you have an inelastic collision and when two objects they stick together. They're going to have the same final speed. So let's plug in the values that we know. So the mass of the first block is 10, and it's moving at a speed of 15 meters per second. Now the second block is at rest, so it has no momentum, because the speed is 0. And that's going to equal the final speed times the sum of the two masses, which is 10 plus 5. Now 10 times 15 is 150, and 10 plus 5 is 15. So V final is going to be 150 divided by 15, which is 10. So it's 10 meters per second. So here we had a 10 kilogram mass moving at a speed of 15 meters per second. And now we have a mass of 15 kilograms moving at a speed of 10 meters per second. Whenever momentum is conserved, if you increase the mass of the system, the speed decreases. So the mass of the system went from 10 to 15, and the speed decreased from 15 to 10. Make sure you understand that concept. Now let's move on to our second problem. You could try it if you want to. A 15 gram bullet is fired horizontally at a speed of 350 meters per second into a 1.2 kilogram block that hangs by a vertical string as shown below. So this is the 15 gram bullet and it's moving at a speed of 350 meters per second. Now once it strikes the block, the bullet remains embedded in the block. So the block is going to rise. So we're going to have the bullet inside the block. And we need to find the final speed of the bullet and the block. So after the collision, we need to know how fast these two are moving as a whole. And also, part B, how high 
the bullet and the block will rise. So we need to calculate the height difference between the center of mass between the bullet mass system after the collision and before the collision. So how can we do that? Well, let's focus on part A. So we have two objects sticking together. Once the bullet is inside the block, they're sticking together. So we can use the same formula that we did or that we used in the last problem, which is uh, M1V1 plus M2V2, and that's equal to M1 plus M2 times the final speed. So let's calculate the final speed. The mass of the bullet is 15 grams, but we need that in kilograms, so we've got to divide it by 1,000. So M1 is going to be 0 0.015 kilograms. The speed is 350 meters per second. Now the block is initially at rest. It's just hanging still. M1 plus M2, that's going to be 0 0.015 plus 1.2. And now let's calculate the final speed. So first, let's multiply 0 0.015 by 350. And so you should get 5.25. And then let's add 0 0.015 plus 1.2. So that's 1.215. Now to calculate the final speed, it's going to be 5.25 divided by 1.215. And so you should get a final speed of 4.321 meters per second. Now that we have the final speed, how can we use that to calculate how high the bullet block system will rise? We can use conservation of energy, but you need to be careful because this is an inelastic collision, and during the collision, kinetic energy was lost. However, once the collision is over, once the bullet is inside the block, the energy that it has after the collision will be conserved as it moves up. So during the collision, kinetic energy is not conserved if it's an inelastic collision when two objects stick together. But after the collision, after energy has been lost, as the system moves up, energy will be conserved. So the kinetic energy of the bullet block system will be converted to potential energy as it moves to a higher position. So I'm going to set Ke equal to Pe. Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, and the potential energy is mgh. So the mass is not going to change, so we could cancel m. And now let's solve for h. So we have 1 half v squared, which is 4.321, and that's equal to gh, or 9.8 times h. So 4.321 4 squared times 0.5, that's 9.3355. And then we need to take that number divided by 9.8. And so this will give you a height of 0.9526 meters. So that's how high the bullet block system will rise above its initial level. Now let's work on the last question in this video. So a 25 gram bullet is fired horizontally at a speed of 400 meters per second into a 1.5 kilogram block that rests on a horizontal surface. So let's draw a picture. So here's the 1.5 kilogram block. And here is the bullet that's flying towards it. Now the bullet emerges from the block at a speed of 150 meters per second. So we still have the same block, but the bullet leaves the block. So some of the momentum from the bullet is transferred to the block, causing the block to move. Our goal is to calculate the final speed of that block. So the initial speed of the bullet is 400 meters per second, and the final speed is 150 meters per second. So you can see it lost momentum. And so the bullet exerted a force on the block, causing the block to accelerate. And the block exerted an equal amount of force on the bullet, causing the bullet to decelerate from a speed of 400 
to 150. So these two objects, whenever they collide, or whenever any two objects collide, they exert forces on each other. So one object will accelerate, it's going to speed up, and the other object will slow down. But now let's go ahead and calculate the final speed of the block. So the initial momentum is going to equal the final momentum. So m1v1 plus m2v2 will equal m1v1 prime plus m2v2 prime. So we can't just have one final speed like we did in the last two problems. Because the speed of the block and the speed of the bullet, they're not the same in this problem. They don't stick together. However, if kinetic energy is not conserved, this will still be an inelastic collision. But we don't need to worry about that because this equation alone is enough to find what we're looking for. So the mass of the bullet, 25 grams, is equivalent to point. 0.025 kilograms if you divide it by 1,000. The initial speed of the bullet is 400. Now M2V2, that's the momentum of the block, which is initially at rest. Now, after the collision, the block is moving. So we're looking for V1 prime. We're going to say that's the final velocity of the block. The bullet still has the same mass, but the new speed of the bullet is 150. So we got to solve for V. So first, let's multiply 0 0.025 by 400. So that is equal to 10. And then 0 0.025 times 150 is 3.75. Now let's subtract both sides by 3.75. So 10 minus 3.75 is 6.25. And then to find the final speed of block 1, or just the block in general, it's going to be 6.25 divided by 1.5. And so that's 4.167 meters per second. So that's how you can calculate the final speed of the block.